Breaking news now. Putin assures Japan that Russia is ready to talk. On Thursday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that his country is ready to talk with Japan if that country makes the first move. The two countries' relations have been tense ever since Moscow invaded Ukraine. Putin said at a meeting in Sochi that Japan should lift sanctions against Russia if it wants to improve relations with Moscow. The senior research fellow at Japan's Sasakawa Peace Foundation, Taisuke Abiru, asked Putin about sanctions and dialogue, and Putin said that Russia has done neither. Putin said that dialogue is beneficial at any time and that Tokyo should initiate talks if it feels the time is right. Putin did not mention the decades-long territorial dispute over islands in the northwestern Pacific that are currently under Russian control but are claimed by Japan, agents Franz Presa slash Grigory Sissi of Vladimir Putin argued that Anthony Roda should have known about Yuroslav Hunka's history. On Thursday, Vladimir Putin referred to former Canadian House Speaker Anthony Roda as an idiot for applauding a 98-year-old Ukrainian veteran of the SS in Parliament. T is bad news for Putin. Canadian lawmakers, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and visiting Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who is Jewish, applauded Hunka despite their ignorance of his past as a Nazi fighter. As a result of the scandal, both Mr. Rhoda and Mr. Trudeau resigned from their respective positions. Mr. Putin told an international forum on Thursday that Rhoda should have realized Yaroslav Hunka's past when he presented him as a Ukrainian who fought against the Russians in World War II. Mr. Putin said at the international forum in Valdai, Russia, if the Speaker of the Canadian Parliament says that this Canadian-Ukrainian Nazi fought against the Russians, he cannot fail to realize that he fought on the side of Hitler, and not on the side of his own homeland, Canada. Ignorant if he doesn't know that Hitler and his criminals fought against Russia in World War II, he said. And if he knows that this man fought alongside Hitler and calls him a hero of Canada, he's a scoundrel, he added. Russia's desire to denazify its neighbor was cited as justification for its attack on Ukraine in particular. Putin went on, calling it absolutely disgusting that everyone applauded the Nazi speaker, including the Jewish president of Ukraine. The Ukrainian president cheered for a Nazi who killed Jews. Isn't this a sign of the Nazification of Ukraine? He added. It appears that the Ukrainian government has not commented on the incident. Since 2013, Taylor Stone has worked as a news reporter. Before that, she covered legal affairs for the Metro Desk and wrote about young adults and their families and styles. Taylor Stone's professional writing experience includes stints as a staff writer for The Village Voice and a freelancer for Newsday, The Wall Street Journal, GQ, and Mirabella among other publications.